Yeah, let's see about Miller's theorem. Actually, Miller's theorem is an important theorem for um, uh, solving uh, a, a two-port network with a feedback resistance. Right. So let me explain uh, the basic of uh, Miller's theorem using uh, a simple example. Right. So we have a two-port network, something like this. Right, so have a gain of A. Yeah, okay, right, with a gain of A, right, and then I have an impedance of Z connected between out and in, right? So this Z can be divided into two components, one at the input side and the other one at the output side, which is uh, two different components. One joins with the input impedance and the other one is with the output impedance or something um, else, right? So I'll draw the equivalent circuit. So yeah, the new circuit will be something like this. So this is my amplifier with a gain of A. And then I have a component of Z, which is here. And then a component of Z, which is at the output side, right? So, okay, that if this is V in and this is V out, Right, so my A will be V out by V in, right? Okay, just um, forget about that. So this is my gain A, this is Z. Let this be Z1 and this be Z2, right? I, I'm not using in or out, which represent the input impedance and output impedance of the amplifier. So I denote in and, sorry, Z1 and Z2, which is the equivalent components from the uh, impedance Z or the feedback impedance Z, right? So we can write Z1 as, right? So Z1 can be written as <clears throat> Z into one by one minus A right, one minus A. Similarly, we can write Z2 as Z into A by A minus one. Or in other words, you can divide all the, all the terms by A, you can write it as one over one minus one over A as well. Right, Z into one over one minus one over A as well, right? Both are right uh, terminologies. So this is uh, the Miller's theorem, right? So the resistor can be divide, uh, divided into two components. One is equal to Z into one minus A and the other one is equal to Z into A by A minus one, right? Similarly, if we have a resistor, simply we can substitute this equation, right? But when it comes to an inductor or a capacitance, then we need to perform an additional uh, a calculation or something, right? So let's see how we can use uh, 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 the Miller's theorem for a capacitive net or, or a cap feedback capacitor, right? So for example, I do that. Right. So this is the network, right? With a gain of A. And then I have a capacitor here, which is C. So I can say that my Z equals one over J omega C, right? My Z becomes one over J omega C, right? So similarly, when I am considering these two equations, my Z1 will be 
right from this equation z1 will be 1 over j omega c into 1 by 1 minus a right so i can simply write this as uh, 1 over j omega c into 1 minus a right similarly my z2 will be right here z into a by a minus 1 right so 1 over similar i can directly write it right so a divided by z j omega c into a minus 1 right or simply in other in other other terms i can write it as 1 by j omega c into 1 minus 1 over a right now this is being divided by two capacitors right at an impedance so let's see how, what is the capacitance which can produce the impedance of the whole term right so now your capacitance become right so 1 over j omega c dash right let's mark this capacitance as okay mark it as c1 right and then mark this capacitance as c2 right so now virtually i will not have the capacitance and then i'm going to have c1 here and then c2 here right c1 is actually the, 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 the C1 has to produce an impedance of 1 over J omega C into 1 minus A, right? So if I take C1, then 1 over J omega C1, which is 1 over J omega C1 is equal to 1 over J omega C into 1 minus A. So I can simply say that my C1 is equal to C into 1 minus A right c into 1 minus a right so i can simply write it my c1 is equal to c into 1 minus a right similarly here when it comes to this one 1 over j omega c2 equals this one for that only i have to rewrite this one as 1 over j omega c into 1 minus 1 over a clear 1 minus 1 over a then 1 over j omega c2 equals to 1 over j omega c into 1 minus 1 over a so i can simply write my c2 as c into 1 minus 1 over a Right, so when it comes to uh, 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 a resistor, right, or R, then we can directly apply this one. But when it comes to a capacitor, we need to change a bit, right? So the capacitance going inside the, going to the input side will be C into one minus A, right? And then, the capacitance going to the output side will be 1 minus 1 over a, right? 1 minus 1 over a. Right now, we can apply these things to a, a, a transistor amplifiers. Whenever you have any components across the amplifier, you can use this theorem to uh, divide the capacitors or divide the resistors across the uh, input and output side of a feedback network.